What's up guys, welcome back to Fish and Hex. Today we're in my son's room and I'm excited to show you my new fish tank build. It's a two foot by two foot by two foot acrylic tank here. Uh, I had it made uh, through a friend and um, it's basically gonna be nothing but a freshwater tank. Uh, I know most of my videos are all about salt water, but uh, I'm gonna start banking some more on freshwater. Uh, most people who are currently in the saltwater hobby did freshwater for a period of time before and I happen to have done it for about 10 years. So uh, I got a little bit of experience on my belt. It's been a while. It's been it's been a few years. So we'll we'll see how this one works out. But I'm going to uh, build it off a method that I've used in the past. It's the Wallstead method. Uh, basically, it's using natural dirt and um, capped off of gravel, and we're going to use plants and fish, and they're going to be in equal balance of each other. And the tank is essentially going to take care of itself. We'll get in more depth on how all this system works down the road. Um, but the overall view of it is I'm going to put about an inch of uh, organic choice uh, potting mix from miracle Grow, and then I'm going to do about an inch of black gravel from Petco. Um, just because of how pain in the butt it is to record that, I'm actually just going to put them in as layers, and then I'll show you guys on video update as we go. But the tank and stand were all custom made. Uh, the stand is uh, the stand is uh, basically the same material as the 125 was made, and the same and the same thing for the canopy. Um, the canopy is actually a floating canopy, and uh, I can show you here. It's uh, attached to the back of the wall, okay, and then we have this stand there, and uh, essentially I just run, I built my own lighting inside of the, inside of the uh, canopy itself, and uh, it, we have up to approximately 500 watts of lighting if we so choose to have it on this tank, which we won't because it would be pretty ridiculous for a tank this size, uh, but for water volume, it's about 60 gallons give or take. I'm not going to fill it up to the rim, but uh, about 60 gallons, so it's a decent size. And um, I currently have a half inch foam, a uh, piece of foam underneath. I usually like to go for about a quarter inch, but uh, Lowe's didn't have what I needed, and I need to get this done, and, or at least get it started. So, the next process is we're going to go ahead and put the dirt in. I want to give you an update on that. I'm going to put the gravel in. I'll show you all about that as well. I will also be posting pictures here in a minute on the uh, the build of the tank, stand, and canopy, and also the lighting on the inside. Um, we're gonna uh, do this step by step um, and try to you know do it over a period of time. I'm just gonna let the tank run by itself uh, for a few days. I'm probably gonna get some plants this weekend. We'll see how that goes. Um, depends if I can get to the store or not, and it also depends if they have what I'm looking for. But uh, other than that, guys. Um, that's it. That's how we're going to really do right now on this tank. Uh, we're going to go slow. There's no reason to rush. It's, uh, it's not going anywhere. Um, one quick note I wanted to add is I'm going to use one little power filter. Like it's got a spray bar for flow for now until I get some power heads that work for this size tank. And I'm going to use a sponge filter system just for a little while until the uh, bacteria really starts to populate in the dirt. But other than that, guys, that's it. Um, let me get the Miracle um, Grow in there, and then uh, we'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm going to show you here quick what I do to get this Miracle uh, Grow ready to go. I let it sit in a bucket for a uh, for a few days just to kind of soak and get most of the floaties off. I try to remove as much, many of the sticks as I possibly can. Um, that way it just kind of let, cuts back on the tannins that get leached into water over time. Now this is personal preference, you don't have to do it. But then I just put it in a uh, strainer that I use for the fish tanks here. Uh, I usually dip coral in this, get out any of the bigger sticks that are left. And I kind of just get as much water out as I can and then put it into the tank. It's uh, definitely definitely a messy process, so that's why it was so difficult to actually record it. And uh, we'll do one more real quick. Yeah, this isn't something that... Too bad you can't do it outside. I guess maybe you could put do it outside and then put the, all the dirt into a separate container. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna pass on doing that today. But uh, I know a lot of people like to just use uh, gravel from outside and all, dirt from outside. You can, but you really don't know where that stuff has been. And then this stuff, this uh, Miracle Grow potting mix, is just so full of nutrients. There, you hear that? That's the water getting on the floor. So, and then we'll get in here and spread it out. And we'll pack it down afterward. I used three 
eight quart bags, and I highly doubt that I'm going to use it all. I yeah, most likely not. But uh, all right, guys, let me finish this up, and we'll be right back. All right, so now we're just going to finish flattening it out. As you can see, there really isn't much room to work, but uh, I built the stand and canopy about three months before the tank was built, so you know you'll have that. I did a rough estimate of how high I wanted it to be, but overall it turned out fine. But uh, yeah, so it's about an inch, inch and a half there, deep wise, and uh, turned out pretty good. I have I used about two and a half bags of uh, that Miracle Grow. And uh, it worked out good. So I'll give you a zoomed in shot here and then we'll go ahead and start rinsing the gravel. All right, the dirt's in and it's about one, one and a half inches all the way around. We have our first five pound bag of black gravel that was rinsed out from Home Depot. Or sorry, not Home Depot, but Petco. So will put this in and kind of see where we go at this. Spread it out a little bit. Looks like I will definitely be adding that second bag and possibly a third, depending on how that other one covers. So let's go ahead and get that rinsed out and get it in the tank. All right, let's add our second bag, second five pound bag. And there's a, I'm most likely gonna go pick up another bag just to make sure it's where it needs to be. Let's see how this spreads out real quick. to do one more bag just to make sure the cap is good enough and uh, so yeah let me go grab another bag of that and I'll be right back hey Ron we're back I just went and picked up two more five pound bags of gravel and I just rinsed out the first one so let's lay it in here and see what we get let's kind of see where we're gonna be at I'd rather get two and then uh, have it than to have to go all the way back to the store that other bag yeah let's use that bag I'll be right back all right now we're on our final bag this should definitely be enough just gonna spread it out evenly the key is to have enough that doesn't smother the dirt bed. side to see what we're at yeah that's fine that'd be perfect Let's see if I can get you guys a closer look a little bit of a glare but uh, yeah that's not bad that's gonna work out just fine 
Alright guys, now as you can see we have the RO tube from the RODI system into the tank from the other room. So we're just going to fill it up. It's going to take a little while, but uh, we have plenty to do before then. I'm going to now install the timer that I have here. It's a little digital timer. It's an outside timer, but uh, I've been using it for a couple of years. It keeps, uh, keeps track of everything. It's great. Uh, it's two plugs, and uh, we'll put that on the timer. I'll also be adding a power filter here. Um, you can change out this, you can use a sponge, you can put carbon if you so choose to, but we're not going to use carbon in this, at least not for right now. Um, and then it's got a little spray bar here, you can take it off, do whatever you want to do. And we're also going to add one sponge filter, just for now. And then uh, once everything gets going, we will remove this down the road. Alright, so I'm going to fill it up and we'll check back here in a little while once the tank is full. All right, guys, we're back here. It's almost filled up all the way. I kind of want to give you an idea of how cloudy it is. It's really not that bad, actually. Um, but over the next couple days, we'll do 10% water changes to kind of get some of the debris out. Other than that, guys, I'm just going to let it run. Uh, I plan on putting some plants in it here within the next three or four days. I'm going to put some fish in there, start off with some, uh, I guess we'll do tetras. Um, very small fish, and we're going to do a lot of little fish. But other than that, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoy the build. Uh, stay tuned for more videos on this one. Plus, I have the Zeovit system, the 125 Reef, and a lot of other stuff going on. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, until next time, later.